Welcome back. Well, as you all know, the first East Texas case of the coronavirus was confirmed in Gregg County earlier this week. While the current risk in our area is still very low today, it is important to have a plan in place for this and other emergency situations that could affect our community. Michelle Mills with the Better Business Bureau joins us today to talk about what we can do to make sure our workplaces stay safe. A lot of people are still going to work here in East Texas. Yes. And, you know, the virus is transmittable person to person. So what are some precautions, some steps we can take to prevent getting this? All right. Well, you know, BBB is all about mitigating risk and prevention is key and, mm -hmm. and it is no different here. So it is really, really important that you just prepare um, for this and other emergencies which could take place down the road. Yeah. Um, so number one, you know, tell your employees if they are sick, to stay home. And if you have part-time employees, you may encourage them to. Um, you may want to go ahead and give them some PTO, maybe say, bring us a doctor's note or something like that, and you'll get PTO also, so that they're not feeling like they, are, they have to come to work because they don't have that PTO. So that's something you might want to consider. Um, and again, we've heard this many, many times, practice good hygiene. Make sure that soap, hand sanitizer, all that is available. Remind people to sneeze into their elbows and not into their hands uh, and cough into their elbows and not into their hands or into a piece of tissue which you would immediately throw away. Um, and clean the workspaces, especially those that are frequently touched that we might not even think about. Um, the doorknobs, the light switches, the keypads on your, you know, copier, things like that. Um, your your uh, receptionist in the lobby earlier was telling me she, she cleaned off all the pens, was spraying down all of the chairs. So anything where people congregate, you know, make sure that those are disinfected and just do a little bit of extra. Um, have a remote plan ready. At some point, we may get to the point where uh, your employees may have to work from home. And so, you know, have a plan in place. Be thinking about that now. How would you handle things? How would you do billing? Just start preparing for that kind of thing. And then communicate. Make sure your employees know that you have a handle on this, that you are keeping a close eye, that you're in contact with CDC and all looking at all the live feeds and just making sure that you know where our community is at. Um, and that, you know, should it come to that, you will take the precautions that you need to take for them to stay at home should that need to happen. I think knowing that your employers are ready for this, worst case scenario, hopefully we don't make it there, right? But being proactive right. rather than reactive, it's always, it eases your mind too. It doesn't work you up. You know, if you, it is just allergies, you don't immediately jump to the right. worst possible conclusion. Right. We don't need to panic. We do need to be prepared. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So those, that was good advice, like break rooms, handles, stuff yes. like that. Just sanitize those alcohol wipes. You guys are great. Um, soap and water is what the CDC keeps recommending to us. Yeah. So just make sure you're practicing good hygiene. If anybody has any questions or maybe managers have questions about how they should handle this, can they reach out to the BBB? Absolutely. BBB.org. Right. Easy as that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle, for stopping by Thank today. You. Trying to help ease our fears and Absolutely. with some facts and tips.